Hey. Forager. You would originally known them for their juice. You've probably seen them in most retail stores. Uh, they have the cold pressed juice in stores. And yeah. they have a mixture of things like greens and beets and a whole line of juices. What they did, what was really cool, is they wanted to use all of the vegetable. So when they're cold pressing their juices, uh, they have the, I guess, the part of the vegetable that doesn't go into the juice. Yeah. And they decided to make pressed vegetable chips. So it's like old hunters and gather, like they use all parts of the animal, but in this case, it's all parts of the vegetable. Actually, yeah. yeah. That's exactly how it is. Mm. And here we have two of their, their new flavors. We have beet and um, we have a greens. Okay. I can't see the front. I think it's mixed greens. Yeah, it's, it's greens. Yeah it's, just, it, yeah, it's just a mix of, of greens. Okay. And what's great about these is we're using the whole vegetable, so they're using uh, the part they can while juicing and now using the... Right. The, the, the rest of the vegetable in chips, and they're actually very delicious. They're vegan, gluten-free. I mean, these are just, um, in here it's just beets, and in here um, you have some greens. greens. There, there's some filler ingredients too, so just to make that clear, uh, some stuff for flavor, but nothing, nothing to be scared of. So I thought it was really cool. It's like a total turn on chips. Yep. And it's, it, you're eating vegetables here. I'm turned on. So we have two flavors. You can get these at Whole Foods. You can get them at Sprouts. You can get them online. Forager does a really cool job, so check them out online. But the question is, do they do they could, taste like chips? Yeah. Uh, and, they, and they look like tortilla chips. So let's oh, move these just so people can see what they look like. Okay. I, I so thought we were is, faking going into we, the bag. We are, but we're honest at the end. <laughs> so these are the beets, That's as nice. you can tell by the as you can tell by the color. Yeah. These are greens. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like Christmas. Soylent green is people. All right, let's try them. Oh. oh. I'll eat them with you. And before you review, you know, let, uh -huh. let's do both. Mm -hmm. So they don't forget. Yep. Okay. Yep, feeling, feelings in my mouth. Tastes in my nose. Huh. These are actually cold pressed too. Not just pressed, but cold pressed. So when you cold press the juice, you actually need to cold press juice to get all the nutrients in it. If you just press juice, sometimes uh, the the juice gets heated, which kills some of the nutrients. Isn't there but cold, if you cold press, press coffee? Yeah, there is. But if you cold press, it's different though. You're thinking of two different things. <laughs> okay. But if you cold press, cold press, you keep all the nutrients. You don't you don't burn them away. Okay. So this is a lot of nutrients. Yeah. No, I okay. mean, they're still chips, but it's about nutrients. Yeah. All right. You can't just dip my hand away from taking Get it out of here. Now, tell me what you think. I, I think they're really good. I definitely think that they're not like a normal chip flavor. Like, they, like um, texture-wise, they are, they are chip. Very, very chip. But when you're eating them, I mean, I don't know if you can even see into here, but you can see little... Like grainy pieces of vegetable. Yeah. Like like little... Those are little sesame, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, yeah. Mm -hmm. They those. Really good. Um... I have to say that I like them both. If I was going to go with one first, I'd go with this. But yeah, they're definitely a snack. Bring to a party. They probably Some go chips. with salsa. Chips and salsa. salsa. Cheese. Whatever you want. I'll go nice cheese for you. But. Yeah, step away from the gluten for a second. Get yourself some Forager Project chips and let's keep it moving. Because mm -hmm, gluten is just bad. I know that. Yeah. Right Thank you. Thank you.